I would think so. Is your better question for ask your accountant? Yeah, ask your accountant. <laughs> I would think so. Um, I mean, I'm it's all part of your business. It is. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, especially if you use LLC, I would assume it would have to be. Um, but we can do. We can also do loans in personal name and LLC, which is also important. Yeah, you know, yeah. many many lenders will, can't do that, especially because they're bank backed. They require LLC, mm -hmm. and then even on the private side, they're just too scared because they just follow the, basically the same guidelines. It's okay. I mean, it's you know, but uh, our legal team, like I said, they're the best. They got us through that. So we can do personal names or LLC. Yeah. Um, okay, so you guys want to go into rehab? You can draw. Thanks, draw. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'm just going to talk about it because I don't really have nervous here. So, draw. The way it works, if you're uh, easy numbers, um, we go up to 65% of the ARV, which is the acquisition and repair. So, if you are looking at a house for, you want to buy it for $100,000 and you want to put 30000 rehab into it, and the ARV is 200000 those numbers look really good to us because that's 65%, 130 to 65%. So we could cover that all, but we're still going to ask for skin in the game. We always ask for skin in the game until we've done a few deals with you. Once we've done a few deals with you, we know we work well, then we can start coming down on our down payment, uh, or your down payment, I should say. Um, so let's just say in this scenario, we say, okay, we will give $100,000, you bring $30,000 to the table. And you you probably first say, well, why am I bringing thirty? Like that's how much the rehab is. Why don't, you, why don't you just buy the property? Then I'll hold on to the rehab the rehab money. You're actually lowering our risk by bringing your money to the table. And what happens is it gets sent to an escrow account where you can't touch it. We have full control of it. But as you complete the rehab, we release money to you. So it's it's our way of saying, okay, if you want it, we'll give a hundred thousand dollars. But you have to put $30,000 away with us because if you decide not to do this project anymore and walk away or go on a vacation, we have $30,000 to go do this rehab. So the day one number for us is now $70,000 versus $100,000, if that makes sense. So that's why we still ask you to bring money to the table. It's a point of contention many times. We're like, that's just my rehab money. Okay, well, we, we want to feel comfortable about this whole project until we get to know you. So typically the way that works, the money sits in there, 30000 and typically, again, depends on how much room is in the deal, you have to front the first cost. What that means is, let's say, again, your scope of work, you have HVAC, electric, plumbing, repairs, because it's, it's not a terrible house, but you got to update it. Um, let's say it's going to run you $5,000, you have to pay that out of pocket. We're not giving you anything. Then once that work is done, you go on, onto our site and you say, hey, HVAC, electric, plumbing's done. We get it, it gets sent to an inspector. Inspector schedules it with you, says I'll be at your house tomorrow to look at the, look at the work that you said is done. They take pictures, send, send us back a report saying, looks good, you can release the fire. Actually, they don't say you can release the, the money, they just say it looks good. We then take those pictures and report and look at your budget and scope of work and make sure you're on budget to what you said you were gonna do. If it is, we release the money and you can use it to fund the next part of your project. If it isn't, that's when we have a conversation. Typically in the beginning, we're releasing the money. We don't wanna hold you up. We wanna keep that hammer swinging, we know that. So, and that's when usually the most things come up because you're getting behind the walls, you're starting to see things. We're still gonna to try to keep you funded, but now your, your scope might change. Depending on how far off you get, we may ask for an updated scope. Otherwise, we might just tell you, all right, we're going to tighten up on the next draw, so you've got to catch this up a little 